Hey, hey guys, it's so good to see you again. And guess what? We have reached to the episode 150. And let's celebrate the episode 150 of Girl Sex Better in my YouTube channel. And in this episode of this video, I'll be doing a review on this battle girl that some people have been asking for a long time. And her name is the Vows Battle Girl Middle Caster Parity Battle Girl Frega. So look at that. Frega, and these are her gears. I already maxed her, I already managed to make her pink star. One pink star. I just need more scroll so that she can get more pink star. 293 scrolls of Frega in order to 2 pink star. And these are her stats here. Can protect allies and provide sustained damage. So she's a hybrid in that sense. Look at that. INT parity battle girl. And depending on the stars, also depending on the vows, better girl. So, which five better girls are the vows material for Frega? Check this out. It's Archie, which is this one. I managed to blood awaken Archie. Blowy, free to play. Archie also free to play. None, also free to play. Jelly, also free to play. Stella, one of the event battle girl. I managed to 5 star Stella. If not, this girl is only a 4 star. Jelly also you must 5 star. In, in, uh, in actual fact that a lot of people still do not have this battle girl called Stella. So the only way to get Stella is through events. Whereas for Jelly, you can get her through friends. Or you can get her through the events. That's one of the few ways you can get Jelly. Okay, so let's see what's so good about Frega. Let's check this out. Core Artillery. One of her ultimate. Summons a Howitzer. Marks a target fire at the enemy. Cause sustained spell damage and converting all non-sustained damage by the enemy to sustained damage. That lasts for 8 seconds. So through my experience, Frega will use ultimate on a cluster of enemies. And non-sustained damage becomes a sustained damage and that is slightly different but also the same as Cynthia's ultimate. Okay, frontline, second skill. Attacks the enemy in front of her, cause sustained damage and petrification. Cool. Which means she can stop the most front battle girls such as Metal Door, Aegis, Sisha, whoever is number one in the formation. If the target is petrified, her attack will hit the enemy that is next to the target. Be a middle caster or another front battle girl that is next to her as long as the battle girl is next to the target as simple as that third skill inspire will heal one of her weakest ally if the ally is attacked while she is being healed she will apply a shield restore x amount of hp per second with the shield value not bad so that is one of the skills that can support the allies. Plan of action, passive skill. Healing and shielding effects of all allies increases. 
so that makes Frega a slight supportive better girl. She's more of a hybrid lah. If you ask me, Frega is actually more of a hybrid role. And look at that opai. Look at that black color stockings. That big gun, like a shotgun, must have weighed over 3 kilogram. I was wondering how to describe such better girl. The type of better girl that is ready to go to war, just like Captain Sun. She could be one of the artillery right after Captain Sun. Captain Sun that is leading the pack and follow up by an artillery called Frega. Alright then, let's bring her to the field test. Okay, today I've decided to bring Frega to chapter 22. Uh, okay, I'll bring her to this fanny. Let's bring two tanks Okay, let's bring Merlin. Bring two tanks. Let's see. Okay, I don't want to use Loki this time. I'm going to use something different. Let's use Wildtrust and... Okay, I'll use Toyo. Nah, I think I decided not to use Toyo. I'm going to use Lancelot. Okay, I'll go with Frega. Where's my Frega? Now use a nurse as a healer. We're gonna use Caraxus. Okay, let's see the skill rotation. Okay, Frega uses her second skill already. Basic attack. And that must be her third skill. Yeah, by using both Wild Trust and no Will Trust and Lancelot, both of them are able to suppress the enemy. So let's check her ulti. Boom! They start to suffer sustained damage. If let's say our allies receive the heal but not get hit, then they will not receive the shield. Boom! Not bad. The combo not so bad, no. Okay, let's finish this. Hmm. Boom. Few more, please, few more. Come on, try your luck, please. Where did the key come from? Yeah, healing non stop. God, they still haven't died. Are you kidding me? Wow, that Lancelot damage is just sick. Other than using Frega. Oh God. The heal is most likely from Scyther. 
kill them by so much. Okay, let's try her again. This time I'm not going to use characters, but I'm going to use like... Okay, let's use Katsuga. Such cute lowly. Such a cute SX girl and yet she's a lonely. Capsule girl ultimate can stun one. Consider quite good uh, against cluster enemies when it comes to using Frega. Oh my goodness, Capsule Girl also can do so much damage. That's crazy, that's nuts. Maybe I should create another team of Capsule Girl or the Frega. Would it be nice if I can get my hands on Capsule Girl skins? Damage from Frega, I just saw her use the ulti. Frozen Nobunaga can still use her second skill. Oh, wow, amazing. 4 star Nobunaga, 4 star Phoenix. Oh god. Of course, Zashiki is the one that does the most damage. Alright then, so that's how Frega performs when it comes to obtaining her as one of the Vow's better girl. Look at her electives. I would rather put a shield elective on either this one or this one. But this is the one that will apply the shield. This one is only the enhancement of the third skill. And then I'll, the rest of them I'll put more on spell power, crit damage or self suggestion, skill level, things like that. So other than that, she's only a hybrid, yet she can do so much damage. Of course, if you put her with Merlin, chances that Frega will hardly get crowd control. I did a review on Merlin before, so if you can take a look at her her skills as well as the pet, it really matches since she's a middle caster. Ooh, look at that boobs. Definitely badass but sexy. Of course there are times that she died quite fast also because Kratos damage and boxer damage is just too strong. She can also easily get killed by Amelia. Look at her HP. Close to 70k HP with one pink star. 
she's best in cluster if against a single target not really that good but i would say that frega is only so so only. not so bad so i'll leave it to you guys to comment below on what do you think about frega if you like this video hit the like button if you haven't been subscribed yet press the subscribe button and stay updated stay safe from covid 19 and i shall see you again in the next video bye bye and god bless you